Fort, San Pedro, a military defense structure in Cebu, built by the Spanish under the command of Miguel Lopez de Legazpi. It is located in the area now called Plaza Independencia in the pier area of the city. The original fort was made of wood and built after the arrival of Legazpi and his expedition. A stone fort was built to repel Muslim raiders. Today's structure dates from 1738 and is the oldest triangular bastion fort in the country. It served as the center of the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines. The date of construction of the stone fort is uncertain. It is certain, however, that the fort underwent major renovations in the late 19th century as part of a building program to improve Cebu. The victory of the Americans, led by Commodore Dewey in the Battle of Manila Bay in 1898, marked the end of the Spanish era in the Philippine Islands. Fort San Pedro became a part of the American Warwick Barracks during the American regime. From 1937 to 1941, the barracks was converted into a school where many Cebuanos received their formal education. During World War II from 1942 to 1945, Japanese residents of the city took refuge within the walls. When the battle to liberate the city of Cebu from the Imperial Japanese forces was fought, the fort served as an emergency hospital for the wounded. From 1946 to 1950, Fort San Pedro was an army camp. After 1950, the Cebu Garden Club took over and fixed the inner part and converted it into a miniature garden. In 1957, the city council commissioned the Lamplighter, a religious sect, to manage a zoo subsidized by the city within the fort courtyard. By 1968, the facade, quarters, and walls of the original structures of Fort San Pedro were so obliterated that only the two towers were recognizable. Plans for the restoration of the fort were started and the zoo was relocated. Plans and estimates for the restoration of the fort was completed by architect Leonardo Concepcion. The project was jointly funded by the Board of Travel Industry, now the Department of Tourism, the Cebu City Government, and the Cebu Santa Claus. The Fort San Pedro restoration was a tedious, time- and labor-consuming project. Work progressed slowly but the facade, the main building, the walk, and the observatory roof garden were faithfully restored after one and a half years. Breaking news this morning, a powerful earthquake hitting the Philippines in the... In 2013, the port was partially damaged by a 7.2 magnitude earthquake that rocked Cebu and Bohol. Three years later, the structures reduced the rubble, now stand proudly back on its feet. At present, it is under the care and administration of the city of Cebu as a historical park under City Executive Order No. 0887 of February 20, 2008. This day's part of the fort is a museum. Inside the fort houses the legacies of the Spanish government, well-preserved Spanish artifacts such as Spanish documents, paintings, and sculpture. A large statue of Legazpi and Antonio Pigapita may be seen outside the fort walls. Fort San Pedro